Hi guys, welcome back to the next video of our Prompted Memories Christmas Folio. In the last video, we got our base made. So if you're joining us midstream, go and look um, on my playlist for Christmas, um, yeah, Christmas Folio, the, the Prompted Memories album that we're working on. So now we're gonna get started with the fun part, the decorating, yay! So we're gonna do the front. So as a reminder, this is kind of what the front is gonna look like. We're using a Very Merry Christmas. This is kind of a vintage album, um, a, excuse me. This is a vintage paper from Cartabella that May May was able to bring back in her shop and there are kits available, a few kits left. So go over to maymaymadeit.com and look for this kit. All right, so let's do the front. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna cut out this Santa and then we're going to do um, these angled, let's, let me take out my tags here. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to do this Santa, we're going to cut this out and then we're going to make sure we get this angled pocket done. And as you can see, this angled pocket is the same pattern paper. I do that on purpose. I think if you like it in one place, why, why break your noggin, right, looking for another one again, just use it again here and then the back. So let's get started. Love this, love this paper. I asked specifically if she could find this paper again because it was one or two seasons ago that this paper came out. So I like to take my plastic bags and fold down on itself to get that sticky where it's not going to stick on me or <laughs> this uh the paper when it comes out and then it's totally usable again so if you take it off well i say that so if you pull it back up it's still sticky and it'll still work but it's not in your way i know i'm not the only one that has been so aggravating in their life where it's stuck to the paper as it comes out it's taken off the color blah 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 Stickers are so cute. Can't get distracted though. <laughs> Gotta stay on course. So let's find this lovely Santa. Oh, there's the bells, that blue dot. We're gonna be using that. And we're going to be using the big Santa, big Santa. Okay. okay. Put this in my desk. Okay, so here are the two pieces of paper that we're going to be using. The one with the bells and the dots, and then the big Santa. I loved him, and he had to be center stage, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to cut him down at six and three quarters by eight and one quarter. So six and three quarters, and it's very... Very important to cut in the right orientation. So six and three quarters, I'm gonna put Santa in like this. I'm gonna cut this at six and three quarters. Checking my measurement by eight and one quarter. First, I'm going to take off the branding strip. And then from the bottom, I'm going eight and a quarter. Unfortunately, cutting off Santa's list, I could use that somewhere else. I'll hold on to that. Okay, so now this is going to go here. So when we glue this in, it'll be glued on like this. So we're just gonna check and see if I like my borders, how all that looks. It's gonna be cute. And even though there's gonna be tags in the front, he's gonna be center stage. Okay, so now we can go ahead and cut the back because it's the same measurement, right? So it's the bales. So it's the same measurements. We'll go ahead and cut the bells. 
and we do want it to be in the right orientation again. So we're gonna put the bells in to our trimmer and the first cut's gonna be six and three quarters because the book's taller than it is wide. So here we go, six and three quarters. So hold on to this because the back side we're gonna need in just a second by eight and one quarter, that. So pretty. So these should be the same, right? Because one's front, one's back, right here. And so now, put this to the side, I'm going to go ahead and cut down what we need for the diagonal pockets here. Okay, so remember the technique that we used there, we had a square and we cut it down the diagonal. So to map this, what we're gonna need is a four and one quarter square. So let's see what I've got here already. I need to trim some of this off. All right, so as not to waste this too much, I'm gonna go up four and a quarter. And now I have this long piece to put in my stash over here later by four and a quarter. Okay, so now I've got four and a quarter by four and a quarter square. Then I'm going to put that into my trimmer on the diagonal. I'm gonna make sure that looks correct, that it's straight. Okay, then I'm going to sink the blade in the center, hold on to the paper, go up and go down, okay? Just like that. So now we have these pieces we can ink and put down. So we already tested the Santa. Let me test this diagonal. Yep, it is pretty darn close. Looks pretty good. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take Distress Ink, this is in black soot, an ink blending tool, and I'm going to blend the edges. And since I'm using black, a black base, I'm just going to use this black ink. That's kind of usually my rule of thumb. If I'm using a craft color, I usually go with craft color. And I just think that makes the world of difference. I don't know if you can see the difference here and how they look. To see if you want to go to this effort. Now that's a pretty good shot. You can kind of see the black edges versus the non-edge. Anyway, I think it makes a really big difference and kind of puts a little professional look to it, even though it's homemade. Kind of looks finished maybe. I'm gonna do the same thing on the bell paper and the Santa paper. And then it'll be time to glue down. Okay, now that I've got my pieces all inked up, it's time to glue. I'm just gonna kinda open this up to make life a little easier. Here, and I'm going to put down Santa Make sure when I get him in here that he lines up good. Here's another trick I like to use. Art glitter glue dries so quickly that sometimes it's hard to get it in here exactly how you like it. So I like to line mine up. You can either use tape or you can use art glitter glue and then pull it up and put your glue and then press it right back down so you don't move it and keep it in place which means you won't have any glue on the bottom, but that's not going anywhere. If you got this glued down good and tight, that part's not going anywhere. So I'm gonna put glue on this corner, press it down. And now that that is in place, it's gonna make, it's gonna hold that, kind of anchor it, kind of make this easier to glue down. So I'm just gonna put art glue to glue all along the bottom, a little in the center glue down. OK, 
Okay, we are good. We are good to go. Yeah, I got all the corners good. That's not going anywhere. So now here's the back of your book. So we can take a look at these bells. Line those up. We'll have the same all the way around. Okay, and I'm gonna do the same technique. Just gonna do the edges here. Okay. Okay, I already made some of y'all nervous, I'm sure, by not gluing this down in the corner. But since it has this piece here, it's not going anywhere. I promise I have done this lots and lots and lots. Okay, so now we have these corner pieces. So I'm gonna glue, put lots of art glue and glue on here. I say lots, but it comes out with this fine metal tip so slowly that you're just scratching it on. Okay, so there's that. Attach this to the back. Cute, cute, cute. See how easy that was? It's so pretty. And once you we get to the part where you decorate, see I got this like this trio of stickers here. It's so cute. So now let's do let's do the spine of the paper. On well, this one I've got some dots at about three eighths of an inch by eight and a quarter. I think I'm gonna uh, use the, the back of this Santa paper. I think this is so cute. So I think I'm gonna use strips off of it. So I'm gonna take off. The bottom piece again. And I'm gonna need some three eighths of an inch strips. Cut those down at eight and a quarter. Next, we're going to ink them up. So for the next step in our book, we need to cut and uh, some pattern paper for the spine. In my original, I used the dots here, uh, the back of one of these papers, and the back of the other piece of paper is these cute candies. So I think I'm gonna switch it up and do that. Um, they're three eighths of an inch by eight and a quarter. So you just cut those out, and then you're going to glue those down on the front and the back of your spine. Now, since this, I got a little hangover here. Since so this is gonna be on my spine, I think I'm going to use tape just to make sure it is glued down really, really well. I'm gonna put that in the center and then I'm gonna use some art glitter glue if I feel like it needs it on the side. So put that on there. tape backing off and the reason I chose like 
these couple of patterns is it's such a small area you need a small pattern that makes sense okay I think it's gonna be good just like that I'm kind of line it up with my paper on the front and back cover because it's the same um, dimension here so that should help you line up and then just kind of center it on the spine oh no you can't see Sorry, so I lined it up here with the edge of the paper. So in order to help get this lined up, what I'm gonna be looking for is the edge here of the paper and then just centering it here. So as I'm looking at it in this direction, I'm just kind of aligning it up and place it down, okay? So on the inside, do the same thing just gonna kind of line it up where you've got the same amount top and bottom and side to side and glue that down and this one I'm gonna use some art glitter glue and one thing about art glitter glue too that I have noticed is is whatever you put it on it seems to make it stiffer I guess when it glues down versus the tape so actually I'm choosing to use the art glitter glue on this one just to give a little more oomph to the spine, anything to help reinforce it is a good thing. So I put that down. Okay, we're coming right along. Look at this, so cute. Look. So next we are going to mat the inside this big piece here and what we're going to do is we're going to take one sheet of 12 by 12 and continue it over both of these panels so let's find the paper that we need just going to be this big old santa and reindeer so I'm going to cut it down strategically where I can get as much of Santa and the reindeer in as possible. And since my page is not 12 inches across, I'm going to kind of, kind of cut it down a little bit. And I will show you what I mean. So I'm going to get my trimmer. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut off a half an inch here and one inch here to get my starting point. So I'm going to turn this around. It's easier for me to cut off a half an inch this way. Okay, so I'm gonna cut off half of an inch, which says goodbye to Santa's mitten. I'm sorry, Santa. But that's what I wanted right there. And then I'm gonna come down an inch. So I'm gonna turn it this way. It's easier for me to find an inch that way. Okay, right on the inch. And this is going to be my starting piece here. So I'm going to hold on to these little strips because I'm going to use those later. Okay, so now we've got our starting piece of paper. So now what I'm going to do is I need, I'm going to measure this. This is about, yeah, this is five and a half. So I want there to be as little bit as possible on the sides. So you could go five and a quarter, but I think I'm gonna go five and three eighths by eight and a quarter. And I'm gonna try and see if that gets me where I don't cut off my little reindeer head here. Okay, so I'm gonna start here and go ahead and do that eight and a quarter tall. All right, that's gonna cut my reindeer off right about the armpit. Okay, so I'm gonna keep this little sheet of paper. All right, so let's see, I need five, a little less than five and a half, going about five and three eighths, and that's gonna put me right on the M for Merry Christmas and cut that H down. Oh, excuse me, the R. Let's look at the wrong thing here. And then let's see where this is gonna put me. Five, three-eighths will put me right on the ear of the reindeer 
cutting off some of that. So that's as about as best as I could do when I've cut this down two or three times to get both Santa, the lights, and the reindeer. And once you put it on there, it, it's going to make perfect sense. Now in the kits, I did not have any red dots or sparkles or, or um, any stickles, anything like that, but I would add that on the reindeer nose. Like on mine, I just happened to have a little red dot from an older set and put that on Rudolph. So I'm going to go ahead and ink all the way around. And then I'm going to stick her down. So I have already done the measurement for you to try and get this right in the right spot. Because that took me a little while to try to figure out exactly how I wanted to do that. So I'm going to open up the right hand side. And I'm just going to double check it. You're not going to have much room on the sides because I intended it that way. Because I wanted as much of this pattern as I could get. But, on the top and bottom, you should still have an eighth of an inch all the way around. Yeah. I like it. So, I'm going to glue that down and be right back. Okay, so now that we've got Santa and the reindeer cut and put down on here, you can see, and i still got my open pocket. So cute, that turns out to be so cute. So now you can... You can barely tell that there's, you know, like a missing arm and some missing antlers over here. It really tells the full story without that, like, coming out. Now, this leftover piece that we had on the back, this real stripe piece is really, really cute. And so what I'm going to do is we're going to make a couple of cuts here. We're going to make a belly band, or excuse me, like a little pocket here, but we're just going to glue it down on three sides. And then we're also going to use it to mat this little area here. Let's see what we've got. We need about one and a half inches by this five and three eighths. One, two, three. So I'm going to cut one and a half. And whatever you cut this piece down to be, you want it to match up. So mine was about five, three eighths. What I want to do, I want to make real sure because I don't want this to stick out. So I'm just gonna mark it with my pencil and then trim it. Now, you could do this a few different ways, but there was so much empty space here that I wanted to go ahead and put a, a open pocket and put tags in it and then make a little space here to put my a photo. So that's why I'm doing this, this particular way. So that's gonna go here. And let's see if I had any more of that left over. I may have only little pieces left. Yeah, that's going to be too short. Okay. So we'll come back to that. Yeah, my piece is too short. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is go ahead and ink around the edges. on three sides and put this down right on the bottom underneath Santa here and that's going to make a pocket that we can put tags in. you want to find this piece of paper. It's got all these squares on it and it's got this 
the red and white stars, I believe that is. So we're gonna to go to that next. And we're going to work on the right-handed pocket. So I've got lots of layers here now. I'm just gonna kind of flatten that out a little bit if possible. So this is what I'm going for here. I'm gonna use the red to do this top and this bottom piece, and I'm gonna use these squares here. Okay, and remember we talked about making a template earlier, the first video. See so if you can see, yes, these marks here that we made as we were making the base piece. So we're gonna to need to trim down this template. And what I need to do is come in an eighth of an inch here on all these sides to make it work. So what I'm gonna do is put it in my trimmer as best I can. And the first thing I like to do, if it's an odd size, is just basically trimming out just the way it is. Sometimes that can be the easiest thing to do. Whoopsie. I should have stuck my blade. I know someone's out there telling me. So now that I've cut this piece out, I'm going to put, put it up against this original and see, does that the same size and same shape approximately? Yes. So now all that's left to do is take this shape, oh, my trimmer needs a new blade, and go out about an eighth of an inch. Yeah, right there, okay. And just sink my blade and just trim it down. So on all these sides, you need to find on your trimmer where the eighth of an inch is and just trim that down. So now that we've got this cut down, an eighth of an inch shorter all the way around, I'm going to do a quick test to see if I were to cut my pattern paper this exact size, would it give me what I want all the way around? And it does, I like that. So now, take this template. So now we're gonna take the template that we made and the pattern paper with uh, these squares on it, and I have not cut off the, the branding strip yet, so I'm not gonna start at the branding strip, I'm gonna start right above it. Just line up the corner here, and then I'm going to simply draw it out. And this will make it very, very easy and professional looking on our mat. So then I'm just gonna cut exactly on that line. I'm gonna cut off the branding strip. That makes it easier. So there's the branding strip. And I'm going to cut right on this line here. Okay, I'm gonna save this piece. We're gonna be using that in just a second. So put that there at the back. right on those lines since we already have it cut exactly what we need. Sink my blade, run it down. Okay, this will be our extra piece and hold on to that. So fingers crossed, we did it exactly right. Yeah, it's gonna look good, it's gonna look good. Get all the way down in my pocket here. Yeah, so I'm just gonna ink it up. So if you did not cut your pencil lines off, now is the time to erase it before it's underneath the ink. I have a little bit showing. Up. Okay, I'm 
going to use my trick I did a few minutes ago. And I'm going to put it in the pocket exactly where I want. Then I'm going to lift it up and glue down. Okay. Lining up. There we go. So go ahead and anchor one side of it here. Okay, I'm just going to turn it around so it's easier to get to now that that side is down. some glue and be done. Okay. It's going to be so cute with tags behind it and in front of it. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So now on the back of that paper, we have this red and white paper, and that's what I'm going to use on the front and the back here um, of these pockets. So this is five and a half, so I'm going to need five and a quarter. Okay, so about five and a quarter. And one of them needs to be one little, yeah, depending on if, how much you want. So one and a quarter. Yeah, one and a quarter. And the other piece needs to be about eight inches. See, this is needs to be about eight and a quarter. All right. So I'm gonna go ahead and trim this down to five and a half. Just gonna leave me a little strip. Okay, I'll we'll make sure that this. It's five and a quarter. Right row, five and a quarter. Five and a quarter, that's a good little strip. Okay, by one and a quarter. Okay, and that's going to be the the one that goes here. And then the other one we need is eight and a quarter. Again, we just ink these up and place them down. Okay, so now that we've got these trimmed out, I'm going to go ahead and glue down. So, by leaving that quarter of an inch border all the way around, that tells you that there is an opening, right, and there's a pocket. So then, when we start making tags, then you'll be able to put tags in here and long tags back here. So cute. So this one may need to be trimmed down lengthwise. Just depends how tight we've got it here and how far down the paper needs to go. So I think I need to trim this one down a little bit. It's the right size, but with that pocket at the bottom and how it's glued down, I'm going to take off half of an inch. It's not like it, and you're not going to see it on the very bottom. So the part that I trimmed, I'm going to put on the bottom, right? So I don't have to re-ink. And let's see. Get in here. Pull up a little bit. So now I'm going to make sure I have about an eighth of an inch all the way around. That looks good. Okay. Got a little rough edge on my cardstock. So I'm going to just kind of lay that back down. 
Okay, so now get this where I want it. I'm just gonna pick it up, put glue on the edges. Uh oh, and put down here. Oh, it's messy. Okay, that's glued down well. So now this is what our right pocket looks like. Isn't that cute? So cute. When you have some tags in here, like I say, hanging in and out here, it's gonna be so, so cute. Okay, let me get this back on here. Let's see what's next. I think this is where we're gonna stop today. I hope you've enjoyed this video. So far, we've got the front and back covered, done, covered up and done, matted. We've got the right um, pocket assembly done. We've got the Merry Christmas. We've got this pocket and we did the inside here. So when you come back in the next video, we will continue to work on matting and we'll work on making all of our tags and some pullouts. And I hope you're enjoying this video. If you are, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Uh, leave me a comment if you want to. And don't forget, I have an Instagram and a Facebook page that is Half Photos with Scrapbook. Thank you guys. Bye.